In this movie, we're going to go over the solution to conditional problem 1. From Crystal Reports, go ahead and click on the new report icon, or the standard report wizard link from the start page. From here, you need to create a new connection. Either Direct Connect or ODBC, your choice. From here, it was simple one table revenue transaction that we're going to pull onto the report. Either drag and drop or double click the revenue transaction table. Go ahead and hit next. From here, all we needed were revenue amount and the rev date. Go ahead and click next. Now, from here, you can choose to group by whatever you like. In this case, I'm going to skip this step because I'll do it from the report itself. I'm not going to have any filter fields. I'm just going to hit finish. And there is my simple report. From here, I'm going to go to my Field Explorer window, right click on the formula fields, and select new. I'll give it the formula name. if then solution. From here I start off if month of my revenue date equals 12. If you call correctly that function will take the month portion only displayed as a number of any date time or regular date field I insert into it. In this case I want it to equal 12 and my revenue transaction amount must be greater than 250. Then I'm going to call it December bonus, else regular. Notice in the exercise we needed to show where this condition was met. In this case, there's two conditions we're meeting at the same time. Number one, the revenue transaction date month must be 12, regardless of the year. And my revenue transaction revenue amount must be greater than 250. Let's go ahead and save and close. From here, I'm going to drag my formula onto the report and release. Notice my very first one with a revenue date of 12-30-2002 is a December bonus. From here, we're going to close. And I'm going to my design view. One of the hints in this exercise was to group by, so I'm going to insert a group. My first group I'm going to insert is the revenue date, but in this case I'm going to come down here and say for each year. This only works with date fields, it would, wouldn't even show up for you if you were choosing another type of field. And then I have my group. The next thing I want to do is insert another group. In this case I'm going to choose my if then solution field. You can also group by your own formula fields comes in handy. And I'm going to sort it in ascending order and then press OK. Now from here I'm actually going to suppress my details and I'm going to insert a summary function. In this case I'm going to choose my if then solution and then I'm going to calculate the summary as a count. And the summary location instead of the grand total in the report is going to be here at the group 2 level and press OK. From here I've decided I'm going to drag it up here. Then I'm going to right click on group header 1, go to my section expert, and give it a little bit of color. This helps my eyes follow it a little bit better. And then I'm going to press OK. And then I'm going to hit preview. What this does is it gives me the ability to see by year, which was a December bonus classification, if you will, meeting my conditions of happening in the month of December and being above $250 and those cases where it was just regular. As you can see, I guess my sales force really wasn't working that hard. Notice in 2008, I have no December bonuses whatsoever. This is easily explained as there's no 2008 December data. 